Hello everyone, I'm Fong. We invite Professor Huang and Professor Zhang from Union Hospital to introduce the treatment of COVID-19. Hi, I'm Kai from Wuhan Union Hospital. I'm also a cardiologist. As the outbreak and development of COVID-19, the existing medical resources cannot meet the COVID-19 patients needed for certain medical treatment. For example, on February 11, 2020, the number of confirmed cases in Wuhan far exceeded the number of open beds prepared for COVID-19 patients. So, how to deal with the overrun of the treatment? Oh, yeah. So, in order to solve the problem of seeing a doctor, on the other hand, our hospital improved both online and uh, offline service. We set up a, a free of charge online fever consulting clinic through which people can be screened, classified, and shortened. In this way, we could uh, alleviate the panic among publics and reduce the pressure of a fever clinic. Then, an online psychological consulting clinic followed. Our online fever consulting platform has seen the most patients in Hubei province at that time. There were 12,000 visitors per day at peak time. On the other hand, our hospital enlarged and reconstructed the fever clinic. We used another area of 1,000 square meters close to fever clinic to form a new fever clinic with an observation area which met the requirement of infection control and uh, cover all procedure of registration, examination, notification, and observation after examination. I know. We ran the clinic 24 hours a day by arranging beds in the observation area so as to meet the increasing need for medical treatment. Okay. Yes. So, in order to solve the problem of getting admitted to the hospital, so what the hospital or Union Hospital do to help the patient? Oh, yeah. In order to solve the problem of getting admitted to the hospital, our hospital concentrated medical resources to improve the treatment of COVID-19 patients and the strip to maximize the admission capacity of our hospital. First of all, we opened more than 200 isolation rooms in a relatively independent building where the Department of Infectious Disease was located to accommodate some patients in serious condition. Secondly, we constructed two campus with a total of 1,660 beds which were used as designated hospital for patients in severe or critical condition. After thinking the opinion of experts in hospital infection control, we used the inpatient building with the most beds and the most adequate oxygen supply as a contaminated area, the adjacent and the smaller extraordinary building as a sterilized area. The corridor between the two of the above area. Thank you, Professor Huang. There is another question. We are facing difficulties in treatment and admission of normal patients. Many general hospitals were used as designated medical institutions for treatment of COVID-19 patients. It is hard for non-coronavirus patients to re receive the medical treatment. How to help the normal patients? Thank you. While focusing on the fight against the epidemic, our hospital has been actively working on the treatment of normal patients. We developed the online medical service, offered online prescri um, prescription and the mailing service of medication, and have provided a service for nearly two um, sixty thousand people since January twenty third. We opened the emergency room twenty four hours per day and performed over five hundred surgery in total. Patients visiting the emergency room were required to participate in the screen procedure including 
temperature measurement, CT examination, and nucleus examination. Patients who were excluded from COVID-19 and needs to be hospitalized would be admitted strictly according to the principle of one person, one room, one companion. The newly admitted patient should be assigned to independent words in which visitation is prohibited. As we know with the development of the COVID-19, the beds in the hospital is limited for the patient and the government built many mobile cabin hospitals to help the patient with the symptoms of uh, mild and moderate. So, Professor Zhang, we uh, introduce how this hospital to help the patients. Thank you. Uh, in the early stage of the COVID-19 epidemic, the growth rate of patient number was much higher than ever, which uh, brought overburdened pressure to medical system in Wuhan city. In this situation, the construction of mobile cabin hospitals was launched on February 3rd by our government. According to the deployment of the government, Union Hospital was entrusted to manage two cabin hospitals with more than 2,000 beds. Uh, for the construction model, uh, you know, the mobile caring hospitals was a new uh, model in the hospital development. Actually, this hospital in Wuhan borrowed the idea of traditional mobile caring hospitals. They mainly use the relatively independent large values, idle factories and teaching areas to carry out rapid reconstruction. Meanwhile, the hospitals were equipped with a certain number of medical staff and uh, a corresponding management teams. And thus, the mobile caring hospitals managed to receive, treat, and uh, quarantine a large number of patients within a short period. Uh, as for the function, the cabin hospital is set for the goal as a hospital for quarantine, observation, basic treatment, and screen of patients. The main purpose is to quickly treat a large number of patients in a very short time to maximize the control of the source of infection and to cut off effectively the transmission route. Through evaluation, treatment, and screening, Patients with severe symptoms can be further transferred to special hospitals on time to receive profound professional treatment. And the patient with mild symptoms can be quarantined, observed, and treated in a proper manner until they can be discharged according to the guideline. It is an effective way to distribute medical resources to the right patients and maximize the efficacy of medical treatment. Uh, the main task of the cabin hospital, we think the hospital picks up patients diagnosed with COVID-19 infection in community hospitals, fever clinics, and other institutions by the method of PCR. These patients are mainly with mild symptoms or even no symptoms. Any patient can be transferred to the cabin hospital and the organization of local government. The treatment includes both Chinese traditional medicine, especially herbs, and modern Western medicine. As for the transferring and discharging of the patients, if the patient's condition becomes severe in the cabin hospital, they will be transferred to a special hospital for further profound treatment. Patients who get better after treatment can be discharged. When reaching the criteria for uh, discharge, after discharge, the patient would be transferred to another quarantine station and continue to receive observation 
for another 14 days before return to return to the community. For the operation system, it is quite complicated. As for the personnel support, the medical forces all over China are mobilized to support Wuhan. One medical unit contains 50 beds and is equipped with four doctors and 12 nurses. As for the management support, the Kevin Hospital rely on the core management team from large hospitals to organize and manage the site and can directly uh, apply the experience of hospital operation and extend their running system to the Kevin Hospital. As for other support, the government establishes specialized teams to cooperate with the hospital management teams. They are responsible for other services as material supply, catering service, cleaning, and ensure fire extinction and security. There are some things uh, need to be paid much more attention. Hospital infection control is crucial for the management of mobile cabin hospitals. In addition to the training of medical staff, special attention should be paid to the training of clean security and all personnel who provide services inside and outside the cabin.